In the lush forests of the tropics, where flowers bloom throughout the year, animals that feed on nectar can always find a drink somewhere. But in other parts of the world, where perhaps the winters are bitterly cold, or here in the parched deserts of Australia, where flowers only bloom after brief rains, animals that rely on nectar have to have some way of storing it to last them through the hard times. These mulga trees produce nectar on which ants feed, and they have the most extraordinary larders. The galleries of their nests lie four feet or so below the surface of the ground. These golden globes hanging from the roof are their storage pots, full of honey. Each one is alive, an ant with an abdomen expanded to the size of a grape. The small dark flecks are the hard plates which protect the body of a normal-sized ant. It's the membrane between them that has stretched. These bloated individuals are almost totally inactive, so they consume very little of the honey that they hold. It is drunk by the busy workers, who, when there's little food to be found above ground, come down here and induce the honey pots to regurgitate it. The workers also tend the swollen bodies, keeping them well groomed and clean. During the good times, the workers collect all the nectar they can and take it down to the larders to top up the colony's storage jars by feeding it to them, drop by drop. The people who've roamed these deserts for millennia, the Aborigines, have always valued these ants as one of their few sources of sugar. And they eat them just as they are. Mmm. Mmm. It's liquid, warm, and marvelously sweet.